Well, uh, this weekend marks Indiana Black Expo's summer celebration, and Indiana University will be partnering with the commission to support 21st century scholars all across the state. Joining us right now is Dr. Karen Dace, Associate Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at IU and Vice Chancellor for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at IUPUI. Thank you so much for being here, along with Chris Lowry, Indiana Commissioner for Higher Education. We both appreciate your time, you both being here, so thank you so thank much you. for that. Um, Dr. Dace, let's start off with you. Tell us about this partnership and what it really means for scholars and their family members alike. This is a big deal. It is a, a very big deal, and what this partnership allows 21st century scholars and their families to do is this weekend at the Indiana Black Expo to come and get information. They can confirm their enrollment in the program. They can update their status. Uh, and they can also fulfill some of the scholar requirements to per participate in the program. Right, that's wonderful. And Commissioner Lowry, this is all about Indiana's 21st Century Scholars Program. I know that's a mouthful, but break it down for us and what that means. Sure. Well, the 21st Century Scholars Program was founded in 1990. Uh, it was sponsored originally by then State Representative Stan Smith, who okay. became one of my predecessors. Uh, he became Commissioner of Higher Education. And uh, the, the 21st Century Scholars Program is a promise program uh, geared towards 7th and 8th grade students uh, while in middle school mm -hmm. that uh, not only provides full tuition for eligible uh, institutions wow. in Indiana, wow. you know, colleges and universities, mm -hmm. but also, as Dr. Dace was talking about, really a plan to help the students be successful through the Scholars Program. That's everything, isn't it? It is everything. For students and their parents as well, not having to worry about something like that. Um, give us an update. I know there was a newly passed bill, HB 1449, yeah. automatically enrolling qualified low-income students in the program. And I mentioned this is, this is everything. This is a big deal for kids who may not have thought this was a possibility. You know, it, it's a really big deal. You know, a, a couple of quick facts. First, since uh, the 21st Century Scholars Program went into effect several years ago, more than 50,000 Hoosiers have earned a, a college uh, degree wow. or credential. Um, in addition to that, the, the big deal is, uh, although um, middle schools and our outreach team and community and faith-based organizations and others have really worked very hard over these last several years to enroll students, mm -hmm. we just don't get enough of them. In our most recent oh. data, yeah, less than half of students actually get enrolled, 48%. And, you know, I think several folks said, look, what we need to do is just automatically enroll these kids. Uh, we know who they are because they're financial aid eligible, mm -hmm. as you were saying. And so uh, uh, on a typical year, we'll enroll, say, 20,000 out of the eligible students. And for what was this year's eighth grade class, so they'll be the graduating high school class of 2027, we have now automatically enrolled them. That will exceed 40,000 kids in Indiana who are eligible for this uh, scholarship I mean, that's now. a big number. You know, Amber, it is. And I think one of the things that's so significant to point out is that the college going rate, so from high yeah. school to college, has been dropping in recent years. It's 53% in Indiana. For low-income, non-scholars, it has been 30%. But for those scholars, yeah. it's 81%. 81%. This is, this is just life-changing. Well, and Dr. Days, I'm curious. Let's talk about IU's history with this 21st mm -hmm. Century Scholars Program, because this is a nice partnership. It is a wonderful partnership. And IU became involved with the 21st Century Scholars Program more than 25 years ago. Wow. And since that partnership began, IU has been able to provide supplementary scholars yeah right to help students fill in the uh, housing needs as well as have advising mm -hmm. unique to 21st century scholars on each of the now nine campuses I like that, that it's have, more than just to wish that's exactly right it I mean, makes it possible that, to really complete the degree yeah, uh, that's right really and you know circle. and IU has uh, in 2022 I believe it's the IU Bloomington campus has the highest 
highest completion, four-year completion rate wow. of any campus in and the state. And from what I understand, activities with this event too, correct? Lots of hands-on activities that will attract lots of people. Yeah. You know, we will have robotics, there's quilling for those who are artistically inclined, there's even physics in everyday life. And these are IU faculty mm -hmm. uh, and graduate students who come and engage with everyone who's present. Well, we thank you both so much for your time. I wish we had more time to talk about this. Mm -hmm. But you really are making a difference. So thank you both so much at what you're doing. I know it means everything to these students and their parents as well and future